A family gets stranded on the banks of McCormick's Creek after a flash flood. That's what you're looking at here. This family actually had to call 911 for help. Thankfully, we can tell you, first responders did rescue them and no one was hurt. That's the good news here. Mm -hmm. Now DNR officers are putting out a warning to everyone. Fox 59's Lindsay Eaton has their message tonight. It was actually right over here in this area, so right at the bottom of this bluff. Here along McCormick's Creek, this is where a family ended up getting stranded. They had done what most people do and it came to the property and, and uh, were enjoying it. And all of a sudden, uh, this you know roar of water had entered the area and they found themselves on the wrong side of the creek. Last Thursday, the family of seven, including adults and kids, were here from out of town hiking. They made it across the creek and then got stuck after a flash flood. This can happen fairly quickly. Um, you know, if you, if you get heavy rains, um, it, it could happen uh, within uh, minutes to hours after receiving the rain, depending on where it's from. They called 911 and DNR officer Chris Springston was one of the first on scene. They couldn't go anywhere because there was a, you know, 40 foot cliff above them. This is about the normal water level here at McCormick's Creek. The day of that rescue, DNR officers tell us it was about two to three feet higher than what it is right now, making it way too dangerous for that family to return to this side of the creek. DNR officers, firefighters, and sheriff's deputies had to get through several hundred yards of rugged terrain to reach the hikers and then had to use rope to guide each one of them up instead of across the creek. It was, you know, pretty rocky terrain, um, you know, to be able to get them out that way. And, and certainly there were a, a few falls, you know, along the way, um, but, but we were there to, to help them. Off the shore and on safe ground, a family and rescuers all relieved. I believe it was it was likely a high stress situation. Officer Springston says in this emergency, this group did what they were supposed to do: stop, find higher ground, and call for help. Had they attempted to make it across that creek, though, that the you know the story could have ended very differently, and we're thankful that it did not. In Owen County, Lindsay Eaton, Fox 59 News. Wow, what a blessing. They are okay tonight. Everyone in the group was checked out by medics at the scene. And again, thankfully, all were okay.